Hey everybody, it's Diamond. Um, I'm back. Um, I did want to just make another video just to clear the air. So, um, first of all, I had to do my face today because I've been looking a hot mess. Like, these past few days I've been looking a mess. So I decided to do my eyebrows and put on a little foundation, do a little something. So anyway, so I'm clearing the air because I don't want nobody to feel like just because I didn't get my surgery that... I'm jealous of other people or I'm bitter. No, that's not the thing at all. Like, so my issue with Dr. Brewster from 305 is, um, everybody was aware of my medical condition. Um, everybody was aware of my asthma, my ablation, um, my tummy tuck I had two years ago. Um, and nobody had an issue. So my issue is, I come all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio to Miami thinking that I'm getting surgery, obviously. Um, my pre-op went well. I met him. He was such a sweet man. I'm not knocking him for that. He is such a sweetheart. So um, my pre-op, I talked to him just to remind him that I did have my ablation back in 2013. Ablation is, first of all, I have a regular heartbeat. Um, a heart murmur. So what they did was um, they put um, needles into my growing to, um, to connect up to my heart. So it made my heart rate go up. But at this time I'm, I'm sleeps while the surgery's going on. So, um, they burnt electrical part, electrical wire in my heart. Um, so, um, I let him know about the ablation. Everything was fine. He didn't question anything. Like, you know, they had me pay the rest of my, um, balance for my surgery um, and then they, um, sent me a prescription that I was supposed to get filled and take two hours before my, um, my surgery. So, um, this is the actual prescription. My fiance scratched my name off. Um, and they had me take this before my, um, my, uh, surgery. So his name on here and everything. Hold on. Anyway, it's not focusing. Um, but his name is on here and everything like that. Um, and pretty much um, my issue was literally I was like sitting on the table. Um, he was like, hop down, let me mark you up. So he marked me up and everything like that. And I will attach some pictures to this video. Um, and he's like, um, hold on, wait. You never told me that you had ablation. I said, yes, I did. You know, first of all. Considering the fact that, first of all, I haven't had issues with my heart ever since 2013. So, I'm not putting myself at risk at all for no surgery, for nothing. Like, I'm not, I'm just not doing it. So, first of all, I'm not about to put myself in harm's way for no damn surgery. So, um, I'm like, um... Yes, I did. He was like, no, you didn't. I would have remembered it. I'm like, well, I did. So he's like, oh, um, no, you didn't. So we're going back and forth. Like, so, um, he's like, oh, technically I don't do anybody over a BMI of 32. Mine was 34.2. And his, um, recommended BMI is 35, which I will also, um, upload as well after this video. So, um, I'm like, well, Every message that I received was saying that, you know, the BMI has to be 35 or whatever. He was like, well, I don't know why they keep doing that. I don't know why they're um, approving people of a BMI of um, 34 or whatever. And it has to be um, under 35. Well, he said it's supposed to be 32, whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So at this point, I feel like he's just making any type of um, excuses not to do my surgery at this point. Like... Um, so I was just like, well, let me get my phone pretty much. So I'm still in the process of receiving a refund. I still have not received my refund. My surgery is supposed to be October 7th. So yes, I've been harassing them. I've been, um, commenting on their pictures, nothing negatively, but just saying like, Hey, I haven't received my refund. You know, what's up? Like, um, it took a lot for me not to get out of character because first of all, y'all got my money. And second of all, I'm a businesswoman, so I try not to hop out of character unless it's needed. So, um, it's just very frustrating. So, when I shared my, um, 
my experience. It was just to aware, let you guys know, like, please, please, please make sure that these people are understanding what's going on with y'all. Regardless if you have any medical conditions or not, just make sure that they're aware of um, your medical record, like anything, like, you know, because you have to get a clearance. I had received a clearance once I came down there, but it was like they just didn't pay no attention. And I heard that um, a lot of, like, the coordinators were approving people's surgeries or whatever and not even letting the doctors know. So, um, that's definitely a big deal. Um, so, I am still looking for someone, um, to do my surgery. I want someone who's more experienced. And one thing that he did say to me was, this is new to me. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, but one thing he did say to me was, I'm new to this. And I don't want nobody who's new to this to do anything with me or to me. And even if he would have caught me back and was like, hey, you know, um, I'm able to do your surgery, I would have turned it down because at this point, I feel like he would have made something happen that wasn't supposed to. Um, my tummy tuck, I, I did really well under anesthesia. It wasn't an issue. Um... And I just feel like it was it was an excuse. And it's very unprofessional. I felt like it was very unprofessional. It was very rude. And um, I feel like he is not getting enough sleep. So um, my pre-op, he was yawning a lot. And he just seemed like he was very, like, irritable. Um, with COVID going on, you know, a lot of people was doing this PUA stuff and PUA fry. I didn't get any PUA and I'm Saudi because I wish I did. Um, but a lot of people aren't, um, there, a lot of people got PUA money that were getting surgeries, which caused these doctors to overbook themselves. Well, the coordinators overbooked them to where, you know, they're not getting enough, enough sleep. I don't want nobody who's not getting enough sleep doing my body anyways. Um, and that's just a, that's another concern because if you this tired and you doing about 13 people, people a day, you know, somebody's going to get fucked up. And I was supposed to be his first person that morning. And once I shared my story with everybody, I started getting a lot of um, messages in regards to other people, um, medical conditions, and how they were able to get a procedure done by Dr. Brewster. Um, and I was also aware that he did do a patient who was uh, had a BMI of 30, uh, 36, um, and he told me he doesn't do over 32. So it's just a lot. It's just been a lot of, like, it's just been, like, eye opening for real like you know and i feel like god didn't bless his hands with me god told me something and he told me that this is not the surgeon for you i don't want nobody who is and lying and saying that they didn't receive medical information um that was clearly given because that's one of the first things that i make sure that i put on an application you know just because like first of all i want y'all to know this right now and when y'all do know that, then y'all can determine whether or not you guys still want to proceed with my surgery. So, um, I just, it was very eye-opening to me. And I'm like, God didn't bless this man's hands with me. And that's perfectly fine. I'm not mad or anything. I'm more so disappointed. And, um, I was out of a lot of money, you know, but it's nothing I can't make back. So I'm not really tripping about that, but it's just the fact that you guys knew and cleared me before I left and came all the way to Miami. And then my pre-op, it was nothing, nothing mentioned. You guys had me on the table, had me marked up and everything literally about to go into the room. I, my last video, um, I had my little, the little cap on that they give you, um, for surgery. And I wanted to apologize because I was uh, I was um, very upset that day when I made that video. Um, I showed a different side of me that I don't really show um, to a lot of different people. You have to really piss me off in order to see that side of me. But um, I did just want to say that I apologize because that's not that's not the person that I want you guys to see. But I do want wanted to make you guys know and be aware of that experience that um, I endured. So. Um, that's, that's just what it is, you know, um, and that description box, it does show, and I did tell you guys about my experience. I wrote down everything that had happened. 
um but at the end of this video i will include all of the um messages um from all the ladies that were um writing me in regards to their uh, medical conditions and it's like dang like you did all these people but you couldn't do me but you know it, it's whatever um, I am looking into goals, um, plastic surgery there in Atlanta. I refuse to go back to Miami for surgery unless I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, so this ain't all, this ain't it. You know, you guys are going to see me a lot more. Um, and if you guys have, in, know of any really good surgeons that's not in Miami, if you guys can comment and let me know, um, so that I can check them out because, um, I'm trying to go probably the end of October, November. So if you guys could just let me know what you guys can find out. Um, and then if you guys have, have any questions for me, feel free to write me. Uh, my Facebook is uh, Diamond White. And then my Instagram is White Diamond with two underscores. I will link that as well. Um, and then that's it. Until next time.